Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Noir. Last time we solved the case of the mysterious stew pot disappearing on the XS Express. This time we're going to explore more of the case of the uh the yummifying train threat case. Yeah, that that one. And we've got a new lead. A family of bomb bombs. In room seven, possibly, or maybe even room eight. I don't really know which one. Shows I've done my detective work ahead of time. Let's get started. Huh, huh. Huh, huh. Nothing in here. Wait, I'll check the drawer. Anything in the drawer? Porn. Alright, lots and lots of porn. Man, what a sick, freaky mouse that guy is. Alright, this room. Let's try this one. Ah, bomb on family. What? What's going on? Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I'd brought my GBA. <laughs> uh, cool. I think we should get little Bob the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bob Armory. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things, Cold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now? You quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Really? Cool. If you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. What do you really want? Okay, then, here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? That's not a good hint. You could want a fucking apple for your birthday, for God's sake. Uh, an A. Can I have another hint? Like, maybe it's a cooking pot? Here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Oh, okay. I gotcha. It's probably that zip toad guy. At least I'd imagine so. Autograph? Yeah, it's probably that zip toad. Right, let's go find him. That's the chef. That's the, uh, the lady. Alright. So you might be in room four. There's nobody in here. Well, that sucks. Where do I go? Well, let's try this way. Maybe there's a... Sure enough, room two and room one are over here. Let's see. Zip Toad, where you at, buddy? No, oh. Maybe it's you. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes. Very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Uh, I guess I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. Uh, giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Nice. Damn. Alright, here's Zip Toad. Was that little bub kid wants a present? Uh... Well, I'm sure he'd be so to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? Oh, man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Are you fucking kidding me? Who's that? Uh, are you fucking kidding? What? You fucking asshole! Can't you just sign an autograph? Mmm! Alright, I got an idea. It starts that one lady that, uh... Uh, he was calling Babe earlier. Uh, that one uh, chick on the train, the gluttonous woman type. Personally, me, I'm not really attracted to the gluttonous women, because, you know... I don't know, they just don't turn me on, man. You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record time! I was way impressed! Hey, come to think of it, I can use your skills, can you help me? Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, well, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Can you maybe look for them or something? Please? I think I found it. 
I think I finally found what I have to do. Is there any chance Bub wants something from a person he admires? Well, whatever it is, we'd better find it for me to steal me sticky end. Okay. Uh, so basically, what this guy says is that he heard from the little Bub kid that he dreams of becoming a train engineer someday. There you go. And then Vivian's like, Eh, Mario, blah, blah, blah. Well, Vivian looks crushed. Vivian, are you okay? You're crushing yourself a little too... Okay, fuck that stupid joke. It's not even funny. Now, while I was looking for what I had to do after angrily screaming at Zip Toad, I met an interesting area toward the uh, front, I believe, of the train. Well, yeah, the front of the train. So, I think we're going to go over there. Because there is actually a train engineer. And if that bub kid admires the train engineer, we might be able to get something from him, and I was totally wrong about it being zip toed. Which is totally fine. I really don't care. The zip toed guy's an asshole anyway. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, well, it's for a little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. You got an autograph! Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. <laughs> okay. Now let's get all the way back to little Bub and give him his autograph. Little Bub. It's a funny name, Bub. But it's kind of cute, too, if you think about it. Like, Imagine if someone was actually named Bub. But, not, what, but you don't put so much em emphasis on the uh. So it's like Bub. Like, boob. Yeah, because if you say, like, boob, it sounds like some giant black guy is saying it. <laughs> uh, God, not, not to mean offense to anyone, of course, but, you know, when you say boob, you think of Bubba, like, you know, from Forrest Gump. Alright, anyway, here you go, kid. So, uh, did you bring me the thing I want most? Yeah, here you go. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Hey, here's something for you, just like I said. That's it. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. You got... You... You got... You... You've got to be shitting me! What the fuck is that horse shit? I'm supposed to be investigating. It's night now. Why is it night time? Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. That means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep at night. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I., baby. Honestly, great, thanks. We'll have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Great. So that's three cases I've accepted. One I accepted off-screen, so you guys are unaware of what that one is. Let's talk to the rat. I'm going to enjoy my... I'm going to enjoy get... I'm going to try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So uh, can you just stay out of my way for a while? Wow, what a dick. Alright, so we have to find that unticketed passenger. It's not Pennington. I'll tell you that right now. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin eight. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share, if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unsuited passenger is, without a doubt, our yummy, sticky suspect. That doesn't really help. But alright, cool. Actually, the one... Uh, the thing I accepted off-screen, I might actually show that. We'll see what happens. Oh, dwarves. Yeah, I'm gonna show that. It's that girl, the 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 gluttonous woman. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go in here. 
somebody without a ticket? Huh? No. Of course not. Hey, maybe it's Zip Toad. That'd be funny as hell. I doubt the fat guy is the culprit in two cases. That seems unlikely. I mean, it's accepted that earrings thing from her, or not earrings, that... Whatever it is, I don't know. Alright, Zip Toad, it's good. The guy getting falsely accused is a bummer, right? Don't I know it. Yeah, right, you fucking asshole prick. I won't even write my autograph for a little kid. Even if he is a boy. If it was a little girl, then I would do it because I'm a sick pedophile. That's just how he does it, though. Well, listen to that guy, he's a sick fuck. So, is there something over here I could possibly use? Hey, Mr. Conductor. What's up? You alright? Alright, sounds good, man. Unticketed passenger? Who the hell could that be? Hmm, I wonder. Why am I still talking like this? That's another thing I wonder. It's kind of a pain in the ass because, uh, I don't know who the fuck I'm talking- Okay, forget this shit! MARIO ANGRY! Alright, not that angry. Okay, so we actually got a clue if you talk to the fat guy. I heard some noises in the- uh, I heard some noises in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It was really spooky, but mind turning that room out for me? So yes, that empty room next door. Yeah, I know all about what we have to do. We go in this room and do this. Didn't see that shit coming at all. Got him! I win, fucking ghost. Whew. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help ghosts, I'm racist. All I need is love. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. You fucking asshole. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find me and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Isn't it right on that bed behind you? Alright, fine, ghost. But don't you even dare read my diary, because if you do, a horrible fate awaits you. Damn, I'm scared of that guy! Holy shit, what kind of asshole just says, I'll end your life! Blah, 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 blah. Then he sticks his hand in my chest and rips out my beating heart and starts eating it. Just munching on it slowly. And for the few seconds that I remain alive, I'm watching him tear into my heart with his teeth. Did you find it? What? A ghost? Eek. And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Oh, man. Alright, so we have to find his diary. Let's check it out. We got lots of foods in here. Lots of delicious foods. Alright, I'm gonna bet cash that you have to... Oh, yeah, ragged diary. I'm not surprised. Alright, I'll bet more money that there's something you can do. 
something else you can do in here, but probably not yet, or at least at this point. Alright, now I have to go all the way. Did you find a diary? What if I knew you would? Now I can return to my post. Yeah, whatever. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Yeah, indeed, me too. But no, I'm forced to walk all the way back to the front of this fucking train. Well, not the front, but, uh, y you know. The middle of the train. The mid-train. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, the ghost is here. God, he looks demented as fuck. Did you find my diary? Yeah, here it is. Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. Didn't you, uh, say earlier that you're not capable of holding physical objects like maybe a blanket? You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. Ooh, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. <laughs> well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Ooh. Wow, what a dick. And what a tease. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I'll see you guys next time for more Persona 4. So long. Persona 4, Paper Mario. Bye.